Hello everyone, welcome back again with us on another episode at Military TV. In today's session we are going to take a closer look at the so-called drag chute. What is it actually? What is its function? And how does it work? Don't worry, all of the detailed answers to the above questions is only available at this channel, so watch this video till the end. A drogue parachute is designed for deployment from a rapidly moving object. It can be employed for a variety of functions, including reducing speed, maintaining control and stability, and serving as a pilot parachute for the activation of a larger parachute. In addition, drogue parachutes have been utilized in multi-stage parachutes, aircraft, and spacecraft recovery systems. When it is used to shorten an aircraft's landing, a drogue parachute is called a drag chute or braking parachute. The Drog parachute was introduced by Russian scientist and parachute specialist Gleb Kotelnikov in 1912, who also invented the backpack parachute. The use of this technology increased during and after the Second World War, in which the Soviet Union launched its first aircraft equipped with Drog parachutes during the mid-1930s. In the application, a large number of jet-powered aircraft have been equipped with drogue parachutes, including the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress strategic bomber and the Eurofighter Typhoon multi-role aircraft. They were also commonly used within manned space vehicle recovery programs. So how does the drag chute work? A drag chute is a device employed to slow the flight motion and provide control and stability for pilots. The chute creates aerodynamic drag that is also known as air resistance. The drag chute converts the kinetic energy of wind pushing in the opposite direction of the aircraft's velocity in order to safely land on short, steep, and icy runways. Additionally, in comparison to a conventional parachute, the drogue one is more elongated and has a smaller area, resulting in significantly less drag. While a drogue parachute is incapable of slowing an object as much as conventional parachute, it can deploy at speeds that might tear conventional parachutes apart. With its simple design, the drogue parachute can be more easily deployed. The drogue parachute will expand more easily and reliably provide the adequate amount of drag, whereas a normal parachute may get stuck in itself during unfolding or fail to inflate properly, thus not slowing the falling object as much as it should. It is important to note that the application of drag chute not only reduces the flight motion, but also is effective for operational reasons. It can reduce the burden of using the aircraft's mechanical brake system and is efficient to the brake use. As an aircraft braking aid, drag chute is cheaper compared to the wheel brakes of a fighter aircraft. So it saves operational costs in terms of aircraft spare parts usage. For instance, using the 39-foot diameter braking parachute when landing of Space Shuttle Endeavour on the 15,000-foot concrete runway at Edwards Air Force Base could slow the vehicle, relieve stress on the brakes and tires, and reduce the landing rollout by as much as 2,000 feet. Therefore, its application is considered to be an important feature for landing. That's all about drag chute on the air fighter. If you have any other information related to this topic, you are most welcome to drop any comments below. Thanks for watching this video. If you find it interesting, don't forget to like, share, and comment. And the most important one is to click on the subscribe button for more updates on awesome videos. That's all for today. See you next time.